So, Lucy, the eternity she wished for. This is a... I mentioned it before, but it's a actually a kinetic novel. There's only one main branch of path in this game. And that's near the end of it. The game will... It's rather obvious what the answer there is. Most of the choices in the game are... Uh, uh, like, either lead the flavor text, that sort of thing. There is a bit of uh, achievements associated with it, but there's no Steamworks achievements, so it's just whatever you have installed on here. So let's get started. This will be repeated a lot. A lot in the game. After every chapter or so, this is going to be repeated. In the future, I'm just going to skip past this. The three laws of robotics. October the 12th, you. As I turn into the main street, I reflexively cover my eyes. Neon sights are blindly bright as ever. And those animated hollow birds are even worse. Whoever came up with the idea to add sound to those hollows should be shot. They're all giving me a headache. This place has really changed in the last few years. Korea's really come up in the world. All around you, you can see signs of progress. Maybe a bit too fast. Too soon. Maybe if I just close my eyes. <sighs> nope. Nothing's changed. In fact, the signs look even brighter. Maybe I'm just feeling a bit out of it. Could be the weather. Change the scenery is in order. I'll take a shortcut home. Get away from this visual audio assault. That's better. That's what the doctor ordered. I can still hear the noise in the distance, but at least it's faint now. Gotta admit, this place kinda has a spooky vibe. No one's around, plus the area looks pretty run down. I have expected ghosts to pop out as I walk along. So my eyes sure appreciate the break. Hmm. A massive building on the side catches my attention. K Robotics Limited. But that's what this says on the main gates. One of the biggest robotic manufacturers. They're world renowned. Even I've heard of them. We've got a lot of news coverage being a frequent topic around school as well. The company's claim to frame are their advanced Android series. Not that I would know. Despite being bombarded by marketing everywhere, for me, I'm the kind of person who prefers analog clocks over digital. Pianos over synthesizers. Acoustic guitars over electric. And finally, real people over androids. I spot what appears to be a crumple heels of metal in the distance. Yep, their junkyard's my shortcut home. Totally illegal, of course. So I don't intend to get caught. Here we are, the scrapyard for all lost hopes and dreams. Everything here is automated. 
no one's watching the place. Well, there are these tin can like bots that scurry around like spiders. Probably sort through all this junk for any good stuff. And then there's the lone sentry bot. As long as I don't let it spot me, no alarm goes off. It's worked for me so far. After all, f robots are fundamentally stupid. Like my classmate told me. That company's dumping ground, I heard you find some real goodies from time to time. If you're lucky, that is. Sadly, I scooped this place out on previous trips, and so far I've come up empty. Guess Lady Luck's not with me. Or I can't tell what's useful, as I'm not really a robophile. Knowing me, it's probably both. Whatever. They come here for a treasure hunt anyway. Forget about the scrap. This is only a shortcut home. Kind of through this place, I can shave off almost 10 minutes. Risky, but worth it. I intentionally ignore the no trespassing signs litters all over the place. However, today was different. As I started making my way through, something caught my eye. Is that? Ahead of me. I can barely make it out. Squinting, I come closer. It looks like... A, wait, a person? A woman lying on the ground. She's not moving. Unconscious? Maybe she's hurt? Or something worse? Growing a bit concerned, I forget all about the sentry. Had I just stumbled upon a crime scene that might end up in tomorrow morning's headline news? She needs help. And since I'm the only one around... I dash toward the fallen maiden to lend assistance, but as I get close I stop in my tracks. I had to do a double take. That's no woman. You gotta be kidding me. It's so close to the real deal. Two eyes closed tightly shut, platinum hued hair that seems to almost sparkle. From afar it looks like a person. But up close, there's no mistaking it. An android. Useless piece of junk. Don't scare me like that. Although I've never owned an android, I've seen quite a few around me. The newest models look like the real McCoy, at least from a distance. That's pretty advanced tech. Scary advanced. To prevent confusion, androids are imprinted with serial codes. Each model has their own unique number. I spot the android's code near its belly. I blow off the dust to get a better look. It reads P I K I M 001. Number one, with a design I've never seen before. Maybe it's a prototype. It looks brand new. So, what's it doing here? A failed experiment? It's caked with dust from head to toe. All in all, it's a pretty sad sight. It also hasn't moved a single inch. Looks like it's out cold. Hey, wake up. Curiosity gets the better of me, and I decide to check it out. Voice recognition is a standard feature for all robot uh, androids nowadays. Let's see if it responds to my voice. <clears throat> nope. Hey, say something. Still nothing. Come on, they're gonna cut you open at this rate. I deliver a light kick to the robot's leg. Upon contact, it starts to show a sign of life. Its arms spasm at the thing, chortles out beeping that sounds. Still pretty rigid. The scene looks like it was plucked straight out of an old sci-fi film. Looks like it's running on reserves. Power. I guess it's still got a bit of juice left. Those jittery movements are making me feel a bit nervous. The lights in his eyes have yet to return. I begin to spot a pattern in its actions. It looks as if it's greeting me with a wave, trying desperately to keep my attention. <clears throat> I glance around. I hear a screeching sound nearby, the sound of metal being crushed. It's probably those little robots doing their jobs. 
I can tell that they're close. They'll probably reach this place in less than 10 minutes. And shred this android into a million pieces. His existence will soon come to an end. I kind of feel sorry for this thing. I begin to synthesize with the robot. Because I realized just how much trouble it was in. Despite being dusty, it's still in pretty good shape. With some polish, it looked pretty decent. Even in its current condition, the thing's still be in service. If so, why was it chucked? What happened to its product launch? Looking at it like that, it'd be a waste. All that hard work down the drain? Maybe with a bit of tinker, it might be able to get it up and running again. Hmm. Part of me was starting to pity the robot. But the other part of me was calling me an idiot. I don't need an android in the first place. Plus, I don't like them. To use one around the house? It's unthinkable. And my father will be none too happy about it. I prefer classical music over rock. Classical literature over pulp fiction. And finally, humans over androids. Let's face it. I have no use for an android. Eventually, this robot will be scrapped. With the old parts recycled, with the whole cycle starting anew. <laughs> Alert. Intruder detected. Damn it, I've been spotted by the guard robot, the most troublesome one. If I don't make a run for it, I'm screwed. Leaving would be a smart thing to do. I gotta go see ya. There's got to be something wrong with me. But Smart's never been my strong, strong sweet. Now I'm lugging this thing home. And I'm already starting to regret it. Mm. Back in my room, I try to screw up some of the filth off of its chassis. I do the best I can with a rag soaked in water. Too shabby, if I do say so myself. That'll have to do for now. Guess it makes some sense the thing be waterproof. So no harm's done. Now for the next issue. How do I interact with this thing? Hey, you. Its arms get in the flail. Respond. If you don't want to be thrown away again, just show me something. Anything besides flailing your arms? I take that as a no. Should have left you in the junkyard. This is somewhat aggravating. Like talking to a brick wall. This is why I hate machines. They're stupid. And this hunk of junk seems a few transistors short of a motherboard. I'm starting to get a little ticked off. Why do I even bother? Don't do something you might regret. This old saying has never been wrong. Okay. Deep breath. Let's consider all the possibilities. Maybe it's on reserve power. A recharge might do the trick. I grab a power cord and... Wait a minute. Hey, where am I supposed to plug this in? I never used an Android before, so obviously I wouldn't know. Maybe your nose? Maybe it's just my imagination, but I don't think it likes that prospect. Perhaps it's trying to tell me I'm wrong. I imagine the Android with an electric cord up its nose. Hmm, that'd be quite a sight. Try plugging it in. Alright, come here, you. I approach the Android with a 220 volt plug in my hand. Now I could definitely tell you it was panicking. Hmm. Out of pity, I decide not to push it further. 
Then how should I power this thing? I examined the robot carefully. Maybe I've missed something? Huh? It started to jerk its body from side to side. It seems like it wants to turn around. Something on your back? Taking the hint, I checked the back of its head. Let's see. What do we have here? There's a small compartment at the base of its neck. I remove its protective lid. These look like input ports. Bingo. Let's give it a go. Looping the power cable around, I plug it in. Main system no. Finally! We've got liftoff. Application. Huh? ステム what the heck is going on? Wait, oh, hold on a second. I frankly latch onto the robot. Say what now? I let go of the robot immediately. It's on a roll. And I don't think it's about to stop anytime soon. What is happening? What do you think? as if a tornado just ripped through the scene. I gripped my head in frustration. Ugh, I really shouldn't have brought this thing home after all. This is already the third time regretting it today. Why do I keep punishing myself? Mm. The robot's facing me. Its eyes still have that vacant look. Like having a porcelain doll on the shelf. At least the creep factor's gone down a notch since it moved. I decided to throw a few questions at it. Hey, I'm gonna ask you something, so listen up and try to answer. You can do that, right? Its head tilts slightly to the side. I'll take that as a yes. 
Better than I expected, given our track record. Moving on. Talk to myself. Talk to myself? How? Last time I checked, no one else was in my brain except me. I'm not that quite far gone yet. Next idea. So, what exactly are you? You don't have a name? Model Lucy Valentine PIM 001 Okay, and what's the PIM stand for? Precision Instrument for Multipurposing PIM 001 Lucy Ba Kizon no Tokka Type Ni Hanshi It's どんな状況でも所有者の親国に立てるよう数百種類の様々な状況を想定し考案された多目的アンドロイドです。いくつもの新技術が集約されています。That's a mouthful. Versatile. Latest features. I wasn't expecting those words from a piece of junk that could only move its arms up and down a moment ago. In short, your name is Lucy Valentine. The android named Lucy is waiting for my next words. Let's try taking a closer look. This is my room. It's a bit on the messy side. I'm not exactly a neat nick. A desk, a bed, a closet, a laptop. That's about the end of the grand tour. Oh, I forgot. Now there's a robot in front of me. I don't think there's anything else worth mentioning. And if you do this a third time, this unlocks something else el in another part of the game. I don't think there's anything else worth mentioning. But since I've already unlocked that for this, uh, it doesn't unlock. Let's click on the robot. Looks as good as new after the white that I gave it. It possesses an alluring visage and visage and a slender figure. Regardless of gender, I have to admit it's truly a beautiful design. I spot something on its left ear. A uh, receiver? The robot looks like a teenage girl. Guess that's what they were aiming for. I can tell a lot of effort has been put into creating this android. And even I can tell it's a premium model. It'd be a waste to throw it away. I take a closer look at the android's eyes. They're blue and strikingly realistic. As expected from technology one whole generation ahead of LED lights, those eyes do look quite real. Suddenly, those peepers shift over to me. Naturally, I meet their gaze. Is that so? I take it back. Creepy factor's still there. I decide not to look at them again. They make me feel uncomfortable. I take a gander at the robot's moist, glossy lips. Hard to believe those belong to the same robo-clunky voice. Let's see if we can change that. What's the deal with your voice? Lucy 
備え各種イコライザー機能を内蔵することで数えきれないほどの多様な音声を派生することができます。Oh,、uh, future warning in advance here.、Uh, I'm sorry if I clip the Japanese speech. I don't know when, usually, when the sentences end. So, so I've got 10 choices? No reply. Why can't you use them right now? Hotondo no kino wa sejo modo oyobi protection ga kaijo sareta jotai de no mi. 使用可能です節電モードでは通常の 5% 未満に該当する機能しか活用できません And the solution is... 最低 20% 以上の動力が残っていなければ正常モードに移行することはできません。How long does it take for a full recharge? ゼロを基準に、睡眠モード時には合計8時間、通常モード時には合計16時間が必要です。I hope the electricity bill doesn't go through the roof. I can't believe I'm acting like a skin flint in front of a robot. That's just silly. Forget about power saving mode. What's system protection mode? ほとんどの機能に制限があります。通常の活動のためにプロテクションの解除が必要不可欠です。And how do we get to that? Wakarimasen. Come again? Wakarimasen. Nandaka no hitsuyo se ga pari, lock kino ga kakate iru to omoare masu. Kaijo wa nozomashiku arimasen. Yes, there is Korean,、uh, Korean VA. Do you want me to switch to that instead? Listen, you talking toaster. I'm this close to throwing you out. Well, I'll have to take it to repair shop the first thing tomorrow. Well, when does that place open again? Decided to take a look at the robot's ears. Hmm. I haven't asked you anything yet. I take a look at the body itself. The shirt's that's midriff fashion. It's quite exposed overall. For a male clientele, the chest area seems a little. Not that I care or anything. Can you move properly now? Motion を構成するほとんどの模造筋肉パーツが正常に機能していません。Which ones are you talking about? デルトイドアンテリオートデルトイドミドレットデルトイドポステリオートペクトラリスメジャースイダビキュラーペクトラリスメジャーラテラルバイセプスメディアルバイセプスラテラルバイセプス OKOKOK、okay, okay, okay. That's enough 
What planet did this thing come from? From now on, try to keep things simple. Can you walk? Keeps getting better. Fixing it is the only option, it seems. I think I'm starting to get the picture now. Let's do a real little recap. First, this android's name is Lucy Valentine. Secondly, it's supposedly a top-of-the-line model. Third, as is now, is no better than a talking tin can. And there you have it. No choice. Guess I'll take it in for repairs. Not exactly rolling in greenbacks. But if worse comes to worse, maybe I can still pawn it for a little bit of change. It's not like I'll feel guilty about it or anything. Now, who will actually fix you? Heard of this antique shop. That's close to my school. And they do robot repairs on the side. Looks like they're my best bet. I'll pay them a visit tomorrow. But at what time? I guess the morning's the best option. I'll leave the robot with them and pick it up on my way home from school. That's it for now. Try to save up some energy for tomorrow. That was a pretty fast shutdown. I think Corona to reach out to catch his falling body. I carefully place it against the wall and straighten out its clothes. Whew. What a day, I'm totally drained. Hope tomorrow will be more peaceful. Okay, after each one of these laws of robotics, it's a chapter break. Do you want me to stop here, or do you want me to keep going to the next one? The next one will be the last chapter break I do, though. Well, my voice is still good, so I'm going to keep going a little bit more. May the 3rd, Doctor. I've endured this far with one, just one goal in mind. There hasn't been a single day where I could rest. It's become natural to go to bed at the crack of dawn. I don't recall the last time I've been home. Thinking back, it's been quite a long while. Fifteen years. Fifteen years have passed since I started this project. The end is near. Fifteen years of hard work and determination. After all this time, the fruits of my labor may finally be realized. How I've long yearned for this day. I've almost given up on you many times. But I persevered. And finally succeeded. I've barely managed to hold back the tears. I remind myself that it's too early to celebrate. I must restrain my exuberance, teetering on the brink of complete exhaustion, then push physically and mentally to my limit, become a shell of my former self. The last 15 years have taken a huge toll on me. I cannot wait any longer. This is why, this is why, please, please open your eyes. Lucy Valentine.